back with another installment of Banjo Kazooie from the rare replay version of the game. I believe we're on episode on. 19. Episode 19, yeah. Something like that. Yeah, it has been correct. a while, so pardon me if I take a while to like remember how to play. But I think I've got this. There's a snowball. There's a snowball. I don't want to do. Well, you could have just taken the hit, man. So. We are going to be going on to Rusty Bucket. Yeah, I'm trying to... Okay. I think there was one of the Jiggies from the outside world we hadn't grabbed yet, but I can't remember. I forgot it or not. Um, which one? This one here. There's, there's one in the, the Witch's Eye, and I can't remember if we got it or not. See, that one right there, uh, but I can't remember. There we go. Nice. I couldn't remember if that's how it worked or if it was one of those ones where it, like, it had to like, explode open on itself by hitting the button or something. Well, Yay! That's how you get that. And game. that's an episode. See you guys next time. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was drinking coffee. I ruined that right. joke. We're having coffee. It's early. It's not that early, but... It's... It's it's early for a Saturday morning. Yeah, yeah. Not too it's bad. early for a Saturday morning. So you have to fix your car tomorrow, right? I do have to fix yeah. my car tomorrow. Lots of fun, right? Um, <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Honestly, I have a pretty good time with that kind of thing, as long as it's my car. Yeah, so I don't like working on other people's cars. Why is that? You worry about wrecking it, or you don't like... I just don't have the motivation. Yeah, fair you enough. You know, like, I thought for a while that I might want to be a mechanic. And then you realize you don't care. And then I realize I don't care enough. Especially about other people. Especially about other people. <laughs> exactly. So, Fair like, enough. if someone were to bring their shitty car in, and I'm like, man, you screwed up. Why should I have to sit here and mess around with this thing? Yeah. Because you messed up. Like, nah. I'm not, I'm not gonna put, no. Nah. So, for Rusty Bucket Bay, you have to hit Rusty these... Rusty Bucket Bay. Rusty Bucket Bay, yeah. Um, you have to hit these switches to get the water level to rise to be able to get into places to do things. If but... But what happens if you need to go down afterwards? Oh, you can swim down. But then you run out of air. No, it's fine. Now, I can't remember if the water level does rise on this side as well or not, but I believe it does. Wait, did you not just come through there? Yeah, but it's they're both connected. I can't remember if the water level also rises on this one. Oh. Because there is platforms I can, like, jump up. Yeah, it did rise. See, I couldn't reach these platforms before. Right. Okay. Uh oh Oh, what? There's like mine, yeah. A mine. There's I mean, some of these things. As much as this is supposed to be, you know, a children's game. Yeah. It's got. I don't know. Maybe I just suck, but it's the controls and the. It's it's. I feel like for you, it's you have to get used to control. I don't want to hit that yet. I don't think. Actually, it doesn't really matter. No? Are you I sure? I don't think so. No. Yeah, now it can just... Oh, it only keeps it that way for like 30 seconds, right? Oh, so you could come over here and just like... Yeah. I think that's the end. I, mean, I go this way and I'll get to the last area, but I can't remember. Let's just take a look. Yeah, that's the last area. I'm not going to worry about that yet. So, for those of you who have not played this game, it is possible oh. to skip this entire section. Yeah, you do not have to play Rusty Bucket. Yet. We are going to... For the sake of um, the let's play, the let's play, because I personally hate this level. But yeah, so. I, I've heard from more than one person that it's the least it's, enjoyable section of the it's game. It's a shitty level because there's shitty things you have to do, and it's shitty. That's the easiest way to explain. <laughs> ah, fishy! <laughs> he came out of nowhere. Yeah, he tried to he tried to bite my little booty. <laughs> I got away though. It's fine. Yes, you did. All right. Okay. Those, those, sorry, this really has been a long time. Those things give you health, right? Yeah, those things give health. You know, I've, I've noticed since we started There's doing Rusty Let's Bucket Plays. Yeah. Uh-oh. My computer's doing something stupid. It's making a bunch of noise, too. It is making a bunch of noise. Uh, is there anything that's getting pushed? Nope. It just sometimes does that for a while, and... You just have to kind of let it sit and beep, and there's nothing you can do about it until it stops. Are you sure? What if you just, like, silence your sound? I can't, because this entire bar just, like, stops working, oh, and then it... Oh, okay. Yeah, because it's, 
Yeah. So I apologize for the <laughs> awkward noises that you might be hearing right now. Um, How long does that I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to push too many buttons. Normally, I just like slam the keyboard around until it stopped. Right. But well, like, we, I don't want to like wreck the stream. We can we can, we can pause the episode. Um, so sorry for that interruption. <laughs> Everything I own is a piece of shit and is broken somehow or another because I'm poor and don't have any money. Well, you throw stuff. I don't you get throw angry, anything. Get angry and you throw. Things. I don't get angry or throw anything. Yeah. Anyway, we have hopefully solved the problem for now. Yeah, all right. So I have got Rusty Bucket Bay good to go here. What What did you do? I went and I put the puzzle pieces into the puzzle. Oh. So that's all. literally all I had oh. to do. Okay. So yay, we're in Rusty Bucket Bay now. Um. Okay, as per usual, two honeycomb pieces. I might have to look up where those are because I don't quite remember. Uh, Ten jiggies, a hundred notes. As per usual. So what I was going to say before my computer so rudely ruined our lives um, is that I've noticed that my memory for retaining um, game controls and um, game mechanics is surprisingly Ow. kind of not very good. Like, I'll, like I would, I've been watching our Alan Wake playthroughs. You know, oh, it's it's you're and, the worst. You're, you're, and I just you like make me so mad sometimes. There are so many elements to that game that, you know, I kept forgetting about <laughs> that I could have done that yep. would have made it so much easier. Or even basic game mechanics that they explained at the beginning. Or yeah. But then again, we do take a long time sometimes to get back into it. So yeah, I'm giving I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt there. Well, thanks, man. That, that's still, real nice. Pick of you. up your game. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but also, it's like. Um, you know, certain things like the whole head turn. Oh, that that thing like but that's, that's something I noticed after watching you play. I didn't personally notice it when I was playing. And and it's also it's difficult to um oh. Yeah, so that you requires to put in how many ever eggs and you can keep putting in some on this one. Some of them you can only do like once or twice, but you gotta keep putting some into this and then it moves out farther so you can mm. grab the mumble them. That's the only reason why you would want to put more in there. Grab the golden feathers, which give you invincibility. There's a reminder and mumbo tokens. I almost have enough to get the last mumbo transformation as well. Nice. You need 20. So after that, you don't need to worry about collecting. You can. It's not considered part of like 100%ing it. It's but just... still. But still. Whee! Oh, hey, you got it. Yeah. Look at you. Okay. So just let everybody know the reason why I hate this level is the water. The water makes you, you lose oxygen faster in it because it's oil and water. Oh, so you can't... So you can't... You can dive under it, but your oxygen drains double the speed. Oh. So that's sucks. kind of dumb. Yeah. Okay. So I got that. Why is it oily? Uh, because it's like, oh, this is construction stuff, right? Oh, you're in I a, guess, You're in yeah. a seaport. I, uh, yeah. Woohoo, first Jiggy of the level. I have been to seaports. They are usually pretty oily. I mean, I feel like it... There's some that are, some that aren't. I I've been to I've been to three, and in all three that I've been to, the, the, oh, it's fine. Derek, you can you can jump up. It's no big deal. The all three of them, the water was kind of gross, um, and there was like dead fish floating around in it, and you know. Oh, I guess the problem. Pe is people are gross. The dead, what it comes down to. Dead People fish, are gross. Dead fish are a thing that happens. Uh, no, but I, but I mean like, like one of the fisheries that was on the wharf took their fish, skinned it, cut some cuts off of it, and then threw like the skeleton and some meat back in the water. Yeah, do some animals eat that? So here, I'll I mean, explain the water probably now here, yeah. My only water in you plunge. Even when you're above water, you lose air. It's... Oh. <laughs> Dumb. That is pretty dumb. So you, you don't gain air when you're like here, so that's why. Not even when you jump? No. Oh, well, that's a pain I in the ass. See, you even lose air when you're on top. And wow. that's why it that's why it sucks and three quarters of this level is underwater. Oh. Well it's you have to deal with water stuff. Is the, is there a way to beat it? Like to not No. You no. just have to deal with it. It's it's one of the things is like, deal with it. And it's, you know, old game style where it's like, yeah, it, it makes the game harder. And it's like, no, it makes the game not fun. Yeah. We've come so far. And we, we're going to do it, don't worry. Yeah. Okay, now, when I jump in this cage, the shark will try to attack me. 
Oops, I slipped in there. Uh, well, you kind of screwed yourself over, it's didn't fine. you? Is it? Yep. Oh, you made it! Look at you! Fine, Ginger. Ginger. How, how are you gonna get out? Just now? wait. Man. Oh, he Go for it! Yep. Uh, oh no, you're gonna die! Ow. You're gonna die, The problem Derek. is there's a hole somewhere here, but I, there it is. I could not remember where it was. And it's so hard to find. There's a dolphin stuck under the water right now. I can't do anything for him. Stuck under the water? He's stuck by the anchor. Oh. Uh, See, so he's stuck under the anchor. You gotta find a, you find a button on the ship that pulls up the anchor, and then he helps you out. Nice. I think he gives you either a jiggy or something. He leads you to somewhere. Well, right now I'm just trying to do the outside area because the outside area kind of sucks. And then every just get time it done and get it over yeah, with. Yeah. So this stuff. You should is, jump into well, that green stuff. This stuff is toxic, so it will hurt you. You should just jump right into it. I can't remember if it's auto death or not, but I don't think it is. I um, I think one of the other things that I. I'm glad you're playing this game and not me. Yeah. Is because my platforming skills are not the best. <laughs> especially when you can't control the friggin' camera. You can a little. The problem is the original Banjo Kazooie, you could a little bit. And it's a little bit easier on the Xbox, like the Xbox consoles, but it's not the easiest still. Which I'm just, I'm just not very good at that. So, it's good that you're doing it, not me. So, there is those TNT boxes. There is a boss that's a TNT box, pretty much. Um, hmm. And... Good, good. The easiest way to defeat him is to use your ultimate, uh, or, like, use invincibility. Oh. Uh, just throw on your invincibility, and then you can take him out, right? You just put it on, and you're fine. Just I'm going to climb back up there. I'm just getting all these platforms done first. Because when you do those other ones, it activates some of the jiggies, so... Oh, does it? Yeah, I'll climb up there after. Keep keep my mind knowing where I'm going on the outside here. Yeah. It looks like um, this one in particular could get kind of confusing as no, far as... No, 100%. Like... And that's why you got to be really careful if you're trying to get all the notes. Like, I've lucked out so far that I've found them all. That, like, I've been... But it's it's a tough level. Like, it's, it's one of those ones where... It is just very complicated. Which is, I guess, why it's optional. Yeah, I think, I think, well, that's if you complete everything, right? If you don't, you have to come here for at least, like, one jiggy. Yeah, I, okay, that's fair. But that one jiggy is right in the beginning, like... Yeah, you could grab that one, yeah. Why aren't you picking up any... Uh, I, didn't need, I didn't think I needed it, but I forgot I got bit by the... Uh, yeah. Shark. Whatever. We've got, we got a ton of health, and once we get to the end game, it's fine. Because I can double it, so... You can double it? Yeah. How do you double it? It's kind of almost like a cheat. Well. Uh, it's it's like a, an in-game cheat. <laughs> an in-game cheat. Well, they, they make it so you can. If you get all the jiggies, you can get stuff for, like, the final boss. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. So that it's also like, is a, like another reason to do this Extra paintings. I think, I think you can have some extra jiggies left over. There was something over there. Eggs. Oh. I don't need any right now. Why not? Um, because I'm fine for now. You're fine for now. Oh no! So you, they do blow up eventually if you just run around. If you're too close to them. Yeah. Oh! Okay. You're, you you just took every <laughs> single one of those. And you get an extra life from that. If you blow them all up. Yeah. Thing is, once extra lives don't really matter that much in if you're quitting soon. What do you mean? Well, because they go away. You start at three lives no matter what. And oh. you restart if you play again. Oh. They start you at three lives before the game over. So the extra lives are only if you plan on playing for like yeah, a couple so it's, hours. Yeah, so it's good to get when you're playing, but don't like, like I need that extra life for next time I play. Like, because it doesn't necessarily, matter. it's not the be all and end all. Exactly, right? So, I, I gotcha, I gotcha. So it's not a huge deal. <laughs> Ground to him. So Derek and I have been talking. Uh, have we? We have been. Okay. Uh, we do that every now and again. Sometimes. Talking. Hey, Ginger. Nice. Um, What's up, buddy? And we've decided our Saturdays okay. are now going to be Saturday morning cartoons. <laughs> um, not actually cartoons, but like we have 30 games in this rare replay set, and other games that we can have access to that are, you know, retro, old, cartoony, you know, yeah. things. So, yeah, I think we're going to start, uh, we're just going to make Saturdays into... Kind of the retro days. Kind of the retro days. Um, 
That's and uh, just letting people know that does include Conker's Bad Fur Day. We're yes. putting that in in the retro day store. Yes, it yes it does. So I think you'll probably see the retroactive Saturday morning cartoon stuff for when we start uploading this. Yes. Um, but yeah, so that's that's the plan. Oh, I need to come to the other side. Damn it. Haha. -ha. Okay, I'll go on the crane. The crane. Yeah, this other crane here. And we'll go off the crane, see what we need to do there, and then maybe call this an episode. Oh, that's... We, we only had, but I mean, we had like five minutes before our first cut. <laughs> right. Before everything went to hell. Right, before everything broke. Stupid friggin' computer. Stupid friggin' crap. You stupid friggin' crap. I just, I'm just tired of owning things that are broken, you know? <laughs> it's like the only things I own that aren't broken don't actually belong to me. Okay, we gotta rush over there. How long do you have to get over there? 16 seconds. How do you... Climb up here real quick. How do you even... Real quick. You you haul ass. You haul ass, as it were. You just like fall. Oh, you're not gonna make it. I'm fine. You're not gonna make it. Ah! Oh, you didn't. Oh, I'm not. gonna get sealed. Help! You're gonna no. get stuck. It stops. It stops oh. once you get it. Don't worry. That would have been kind of funny, actually, if you just got stuck in there. No, they don't, they don't do that. I'm just gonna run back and grab that. Uh... Oh, uh, so you see these two pipes? I'm just gonna go over this real quick. See the two pipes? Which two pipes? This pipe. And that pipe? Oh, yeah. The, one of them yeah. you can go in, one is an enemy. This one's the enemy. How do you know? It's, it's oh. brown. This one is not. That one you can jump into. And that one just looks you as soon as you get close to brown. it. Brown, yeah. So that's how you can tell. It's They're pretty good about that. Um, There are other enemies that like look like they're part of the ship once you once I actually get on it. Is that another one of those functions of this level that just that yeah. sucks? Well, not, not really, because you can learn pretty quick what, what the real ones are and what the real ones aren't. Um, they're, they're pretty good at that, just like you can tell which windows you can break. Like, I can't break these windows, but if they were like lighter colored and look like they're raised a little bit, you can break it. And they weren't, aren't those yellowy looking ones? Yeah, and there's, I know you can, yeah. Anyway, so we'll call this part here. I'm gonna jump up here real quick. Get some Sur feathers. Yeah, survey the area. So far so good, I need to get over to that one, but otherwise I've got most of the stuff on the outside that I can remember. Other than all those eggs that you missed, and those notes over there. Yeah, but I, I'm just sort of on this end of the ship, so I'm gonna go around this end of the ship first and work my way around. Right, right. All right, well, we'll uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Bye.